The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I want to thank uh, Basil Chapman and Steve Rhodes for sending in for me <clears throat> for a couple of days. Uh, always nice to have a uh, little break every once in a while. Um, yesterday happened to be uh, Ralph Elliott of the Elliott Waves birthday. And it was also my birthday, and that was another reason I didn't show up. <laughs> anyway, okay, folks, I've reached the eighth for a long pole. Hope we can make it to the finish line. We'll see. Maybe we'll be running at a mile and a quarter. Who knows? All right, let's take a look at one market that is running the whole show, and we got the Federal Reserve today, and it's going to be based on what this U.S. dollar is doing. And frankly, we've got a little bit more to go to the downside, I believe, but uh, we'll see whether this is going to uh, finish here at this level or at uh, a little bit lower. The 1.618 expansion on this is at 92.60. We're trading at 93.58. And if we drop a point today, that will send the euro into the rocket zone. And also the British pound, uh, we've got some really strong numbers up there in that 129.90 to uh, 130. 80 level, but we'll see if that makes it uh, see if that makes it uh, work or not, folks. If you want to have a really great, really great day on your bucket list, what you want to do is you want to take a jet helicopter from Phoenix to the Grand Canyon. You leave about nine o'clock in the morning. You hit the canyon around ten. You take a canyon all the way to the north rim and the south rim, all the way there and all the way back, and then you land down at the bottom at the ranch, and then you have a nice lunch. And then they bring you back. And if you want to have a nice day and see some incredible scenery, that's the way you want to do it. It's uh, really beyond belief. Now, let's move on and talk about the markets here just a little bit. Hold on here one second here. We'll get the uh, next one I want to look at. With the Fed out here today, we got the U.S. Treasury bonds jumping around. I want to bring this up because I think, uh, yes, they have that same thing from Vegas. You're right. Hold on here. Um you don't need drama, I mean, when you're in that thing because you're there before you know it. It's really exciting. Let's look up here at this uh, th this resistance that we got here in the Treasury bonds up here, that 182.08 level. Uh, with the Fed in there today, there's easy easy chance that we could do it, folks. This is all. This is my two cents worth, folks, because I'm not a uh, an economist and I don't understand it. I just try to look at the charts. But if they're hammering the U.S. dollar, that means people are going to have less confidence in our in our treasuries. But how can the treasuries go up? with the U.S. dollar dropping. That doesn't make any sense to me, but a lot of these things don't make sense to me, and that's why I just try to look at the patterns to see if they work or not. But there's something big happening in that U.S. dollar. On the weekly, it has a great deal of support at that 92 level, which is the 61% retracement of the whole move. So we've been breaking down. We're down, I think, 25, 22 days in a row or close to that in the U.S. dollar. There's been an up day, but that up day had a lower low, so you count that as a down day. So that's what it looks like today in the U.S. dollar. So I'm not sure, but no one else is either. But uh, the ones that look interesting, of course, are the uh, British pound and the euro and the uh, Australian dollar, but they are beating the dollar up. Every time you take a look at Bloomberg News, you see nothing but red on the U.S. dollar with the exception of a few um, uh, Middle Eastern currencies like the Iran and uh, the uh, Turkish lira. Uh, Tur I think it's called a lira, Tur Turkish lira. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> anyway, between Turkey and Iran, you might see a little bit of that. So that's pretty much it. Yes, I've taken the Copper, uh, Copper Canyon trip here from Tucson all the way through Mexico. That's another beautiful one, but it doesn't compare uh, to the... Um, to the trip in the, in the Grand Canyon. If you want to go really, really out to lunch, you got to go to to um, to China to go to the uh, Yangtze River and take that into the Three Gorges. Oh boy, that's a three day trip. But boy, oh boy, is that that's uh, that's really spec. That's the only time I'm that I ride on a boat that I'm actually enjoy it. So. And I don't like boats, that's for sure. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, if 
I think they have questions here at TFNN. 877 927 6648. Our guest today will be Tim Bost of Sarasota, Florida. Uh, financial, financial, time, financial Weekly, I think it's called. I have to double check, but Tim will be our guest here uh, at the break. He's always having some good luck. And then hopefully we'll have a Stan Harley on tomorrow and maybe Arch Crawford. On Friday, Arch has an interesting uh, story. He happened to be on the um, uh, show with Regis, Phil, Regis Philbin and Kathy Lee many years ago, and Regis wrote him a really nice note. A nice note, and uh, uh, he uh, sent he sent it off to Sam, and Sam forwarded it to me yesterday. So we'll get try to get Sam get Arch on the line to uh, uh, talk about it uh, if we can on Friday. And if I miss him, I will try to be uh, – maybe we can get in touch with uh, Bill Meridian or even Shane Smolian, the wolf trader. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, sorry, Mark P., I will tell – Tim is from Palmetto, which is out near Bradenton. I think it's down there in that Sarasota area where all the rich people live. So he'll be uh, he'll be on our show at the at the break, as I mentioned. All right, let's take a quick look. Here's what's happening in the S and P. This is my two cents worth. Uh, we've had a nice little move here. Last night, we went right down to a 78% retracement, 32.04. I believe we're rallied up to 0.5 right now or very close to it. I haven't checked it this morning, but I will check it right now just to see where we are. I think we're pretty close to that level. We are at, yep, we're there. Uh, 32.25 is the number we're looking at for that 135 pattern. So we've been, we've been as high as 32.26. So uh, that's in the area of the 135. That's all I can tell you. I don't know whether it works or not, but we'll have to uh, to wait and see. Um, the euros had a really nice move here uh, early this morning, but again, you know, we've got the Fed in there today, so anything could anything could possibly happen, and it usually does. I'll post up here what the the uh, upward bias here is in the euro for today. And uh, remember, the Fed, it comes in around 2 o'clock, I believe. But there's a couple that are real interesting, folks. We've had this big move in gold and silver and platinum. And believe me, they have. So we've had some monster moves. Do you realize that silver had a $6,000 move? We were up 2000 down 4000 down 1000 yesterday for, for ending up $6,000 swing, ending right in the middle of the range. Those are, those are monster moves. The gold made a really nice move. I'm still looking at the August. From 975, we went down to 905. We know that the harmonic number is 32. 32 times 4 is 64. And by golly, it came within just about five bucks of it on a real fast tick. And boom, it went right back up to the 78% level at uh, uh, 1958, which we hit again this morning, which is uh, telling you that we've got some pretty stiff resistance possibly in that 1958 to 19. 59 level in the August gold. Um, let's take a quick look here at silver this morning just to uh, keep our uh, eye on the ball here. If we can, just give me one second and I'll pop up the old silver and we will see where we are. We'll just do a 15 minute chart so all you folks can see what's happening. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart that we've looked at several times over the past few months, and that is the chart from Larry Williams on his predictive model that he has. And if you notice that yesterday was supposed to be a high day in the market, that's maybe one or two days off possibly. But, uh, you know, the fact that that low came in exactly at March 23rd, I think you have to respect the work. So keep in mind that that's what we're looking at. There's a couple of things related to those Treasury bonds that I think are are really interesting. Let me first uh, show you the uh, the German Bund. I want to get this up here to, in two in two phases so you can look at. It. Now this is next to the U.S. Treasuries. This is the largest of the government bonds. You'll notice that we're into this 78% uh, re retracement level. Look, we've been here July. All of the month of July, we've been in this range between 176 and 177. But if we blow this up, and if we blow this up, I think you'll be able to see that it looks a lot different because you'll be able to see we have some very, very distinctive uh, three drive patterns and a lot of ABCD patterns coming due up in here. Uh, and you're looking at a whole month here, folks. So this is a spot where you want to be getting short, not long you know, based on that. So that's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. The pattern for the bonds, buns and the bonds and the notes all look the same. Uh, they should be completion patterns, but, you know, these things can change on a minute if the Federal Reserve comes in and we decide that uh, they're going to take us to negative interest rates. And given the fact that we have everything in the world going on with just about everything, viruses, protesters, uh, you know, everything is happening. So <laughs> anything can happen. Let, let me explain to you what I think is happening, folks. Let me show you this is something that uh, was shared to me by one of our uh, listeners across the uh, across the pond over here it was a uh, auth uh, a art auction that they had in London and this was one of the uh, beautiful paintings this is uh, it's uh, two feet by three feet I uh, know two by four and uh, you'll notice the beautiful colors of red black and blue and you could have picked this up by from the uh, artist is Blinky Palermo. A, Blinky's a little suspect, and Palermo is definitely suspect. I know where Manhattan is. The Unicon, you guys want to guess what that thing went for? Take a guess. Then you can wonder why the S&P's at 3,200. Take a guess what that thing went for, folks. Duh. 
How about you're absolutely right, Marshall. Two point four million. Two point four million. Folks, they had sculptures there that they couldn't sell in a Mexican junkyard for forty five bucks that went for three and four million dollars. I mean, it's unbelievable what these people pay for these things. I, I don't know. You can go down to Nogales and get some incredible Elvis paintings. But you walk across the room, you know, the eyes follow you, and they're on crushed velour, and you get a frame with them. All of that for 12 bucks. I mean, there's where your art lies, down there in Nogales, Mexico. Anyway, let's move on. I shouldn't make fun of it because it's over my pay grade. Each one of these things is an incredible... Uh, aesthetic piece, I guess, but the, the, the one that really drove me nuts was a picture of a swimming pool and a diving board, a, a watercolor, no people in it, just just a picture of a, a swimming pool and, a, and a, uh, a, a diving board by David Hockney went for $4.8 million. And my grandsons are now working on three exotic pieces that we're going to offer here at TFNN very, very shortly to only discreet buyers that uh, understand works of art that can appreciate over a period of time so you don't have to worry about the s&p during a 3300 if you can buy stuff like that for millions of dollars holy moly guacamole now let's get back to the real art there's something happening that we've been looking at and it's looking good and that is the bitcoin boys and girls the bitcoin has taken new life once the gold busted that 1900 level we got up to almost 11,000. We did. We had 11,000, um, almost 12,000 in the Bitcoin, breaking out all those areas. We've been we've been watching this long consolidation that we had here at 9,000. Now we've broken out to the upside. Those of you that we went to the private, or not the private, but the uh, the uh, one day trading uh, thing that we had live trading back on uh, March, uh, she's May the uh, 26th. If you remember, we were recommending the uh, chart of Cardano, which is uh, uh, ADA, and it is now trading above 15. We've broken out above that 1.618 expansion on the upside, and that looks like it has some really good legs if it's going to uh, move any higher. But we'll have to let the trading gods tell us we're going to do that. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. And I'll be trying to happy to answer for you uh, what I'm looking at. Here is a picture of the um, long term. These were sent to me by one of our friends over in Chicago. I think that are that are quite interesting. This is a, one of the. Um, it's a chart basically. It's a P, the P/E ratio from uh, 1900 to 2019. And as you can see, the high we had at the dot com bubble, and you can see where we are uh, right now into 2020. We, uh, that was the high uh, at that level. So we'll, we'll see. And that, believe me, that's that wasn't even January when the high of the market was. So P/E went a little bit differently. The average is around 15.5, and we're trading at around double that. At around 30 but you know if you can buy i will do the british pound for you next robert so hang on here this one it's a very very beautiful pattern it's got a lot of stuff uh, whether it works or not of course with the fed there anything could uh, go wrong but uh, we're trading at around 29.80 right now uh, we have an abcd completion at 20 990. I think we just hit it just a minute ago. The average between that 127 and the 1.618 1. Um, there comes in at um, 129.55. Uh, if we get above that 130.40, we most probably could go higher. Believe me, the way the U.S. dollar is setting, if we spike down one more time in that U.S. dollar, that we could, you know, at one point in the U.S. dollar, that means that the euro will hit its uh, big objectives, the dollar index will hit its big objectives, and the British pound could extend its objectives. So this is a really interesting time for the Fed because the, with the U.S. dollar failing, this is going to be very hard. At least it should be hard. They're going to print money like crazy, which they've been doing. Just to show you what they're doing with the money, folks, they take that money and print it. This came from Rich Anderson. These are the um, actual purchases that the Fed has made uh, in recent times. These are the bond purchases. Look at that Volkswagen, Verizon, Apple, you know, Daimler Benz, you know, General Motors, Toyota, General Electric. I mean, these they're 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 purchasing bonds. The next step is they go in to buy stocks, just like they've done in China. So there's a uh, China. I mean, in Japan. So it's very interesting. Um, uh, how how 
bad does the dollar have to trade to lose face in the dollar? Ruby, I don't know what that number is, but my guess it has to be probably around 90, I would think. We're trading at 95 and change now. Anything below uh, 90, 91 to 90, they will probably bring in a panic. But you're going to see it in probably different things. And it could also be, you know, a panic in the gold and the silver because, you know, gold had a beautiful correction there. We dropped $75. We come back 78% of it. So this is a, cre a real critical time here. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Tim Bost. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Tim Bost, Financial Cycles Weekly down there in Palmetto, Florida. Are you there, Timothy? I'm here, Larry. I'm breaking up a little bit here. Um, That's okay. Can you see my screen share, or is that? Uh, uh, I okay. let me double check. Maybe they have this fixed up today. You got it. You're on business. Oh, thank you so much. Because when you sent them to me, I couldn't open them. So that's the uh -oh. key. <laughs> okay, hey, good. hey, Tim. We'll, before we'll keep we keep all the file form, formats mysterious. <laughs> that's good. Hey, so. be, be, before we start, we've got two questions that are exactly the same. Okay, and, all and right. you, because you're an astute astrologer. 
How much of a chance does DJT have to be elected? Do you have any feeling on that from the astrological charts? Well, you know, uh, when we looked at the ele election dynamics uh, four years ago, it was pretty much a slam dunk uh, on his uh, behalf uh, based on our uh, analytical techniques. Uh, when we look at it uh, this time around, it's a little bit more like a toss-up uh, between him and, and uh, Mr. Biden. Uh, so uh, we're, we're not going to make a firm call on that at this point. Uh, but uh, for th those that uh, believe it's going to be a, a landslide against him, uh, need to think twice uh, and if uh, if, that, if that's your political leanings, uh, better get to the polls. <laughs> so let's put okay. it that way. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. All right, what do you have for us today, my friend? Well, what we're looking at here today is Bitcoin, uh, and that's gotten a good bit of attention here uh, last uh, few days, especially uh, with a big run-up. Uh, what we did earlier in the uh, month, uh, uh, around just after the 4th of July, uh, we started doing some analysis uh, with Bitcoin and came up with this uh, cycle chart uh, that indicated a downtrend into uh, the 20th of uh, uh, July, and so that's what we were anticipating. And so on that that basis, we did some scanning astrologically uh, to see what was happening uh, coming up on the 20th of July and discovered that that was uh, the date of a Mars Kronos square. We had uh, the planet Mars lining up with the trans Neptunian factor uh, Kronos in a 90 degree angle. And so we uh, pop that into our 90 degree dial chart here to see how that would impact uh, the inception chart for Bitcoin. That's one of the tools that we use uh, in doing our analysis. And it looked like a pretty uh, uh, dynamic situation going on there, uh, suggesting that we could get some pretty strong market action around that uh, particular date, around the 20th uh, of July. Uh, so we, uh, th what we did was uh, project uh, the Mars and Kronos planetary projects price lines on our trading chart for Bitcoin. Now, uh, this chart was current as of, I think, the 7th of July uh, when we first did this uh, analysis, uh, and we were looking for that square coming up uh, on the, the 20th of July. Uh, the more or less horizontal uh, purple lines are for the positions of Kronos. That's a very slow-moving uh, trans-Neptunian factor, uh, so it's a uh, position in the heavens shows up almost like a, a perfect uh, parallel uh, horizontal lines. Uh, the more diagonal red lines across the chart represent the positions of Mars. And what we were observing then over on the right-hand side of that chart was that Bitcoin was adhering to a Mars channel in its trading swings. It was pretty volatile at that point, uh, but uh, still trading considerably below where it is uh, today. Uh, so we decided to do a little bit more research in that department and do some back testing uh, based on uh, the fourth harmonic alignments of Mars and Kronos. Now, Bitcoin has a, a fairly limited trading history. We've only got about uh, uh, eight or ten years of, of trading data to work with here. Uh, so we're, we're starting to get some, some traction with our, our back testing, but we want to take a look uh, anyway. And so what, when, when we did this, the results were pretty surprising. Uh, we looked at these uh, fourth harmonic Mars-Kronos alignments by fourth harmonic Harmonic, we mean a planetary conjunction. Uh, both Mars and Kronos are at the same position in the zodiac, or they could be opposite each other, uh, and or, or they could form a 90-degree angle between the two. So we've got a set of uh, alignments there that we were testing for just to see how the price action in Bitcoin responded. Now, with this chart in the middle there at the zero point, the, the lower part of the chart, uh, that's the exact date of the planetary alignment. And we went back and tested this historically to see what had occurred before. Uh, and then uh, to the left of that is the 30 calendar days prior to that. A little bit choppy, uh, more or less uh, congested uh, trading. But these uh, alignments of Mars and Kronos, whenever they occur, uh, tend to be very, very dramatic in terms of their effect on the price of Bitcoin. And in fact, uh, we're looking at an average price increase uh, over a three-week period, a 21-day period there, uh, of about 30% uh, after these occur in, in the price of Bitcoin. And uh, that's a pretty high probability dynamic there as well. Uh, so that caught our attention. And so we were looking then for an uptrend uh, in Bitcoin uh, starting on or about uh, the 20th of, of July on that. 
that uh, basis. Uh, so we published this forecast back on the 7th of July, uh, and then this is what has happened as of yesterday, uh, and we're seeing here uh, on the right-hand side of that chart, that we've kind of zoomed in here a little bit with those uh, same Mars and, and Kronos lines, uh, but we're noticing here that on the 20th, uh, Bitcoin was trading at uh, $9,173 uh, uh, for the uh, U.S. Uh, the equivalent there. And uh, as of uh, the close uh, uh, yesterday, it was at $11,147. I checked this morning, it's still trading at around the $11,100 uh, uh, price point uh, a little about, uh, as of about 30 minutes ago. It's kind of a, a volatile market, so we don't know exactly to the moment here. But our price target with this 30% move uh, is up at $11,925. Uh, so we think there's some more play to the upside here with this current rally uh, in Bitcoin based on just this planetary configuration. Uh, now, this chart, I think, shows uh, the significance of that horizontal Kronos line. It was providing resistance uh, at about the $10,120 uh, price uh, point uh, there for Bitcoin. Uh, so when it broke through that a couple of days ago, uh, from our astro trading perspective, uh, this was a, a very, very bullish signal, uh, obviously, when that uh, resistance got, got broken and we're now trading well above that. So we believe that this uh, uh, adds some uh, more momentum to the situation. And again, it looks like we've, we've got uh, another two weeks or so to, to run on, on this rally with Bitcoin. Now, in addition to that, what's happening today is that we have a second plan, uh, trans-Neptunian factor, uh, Poseidon, making a direct station. We did our same back test with that. And we discovered here that the price potential uh, is, is uh, not quite is strong, but we're looking at this as kind of an, an add-on factor or an extra kicker to this uh, uh, Bitcoin play that we're looking at here. Uh, we've discovered that there's a 75% likelihood of a two-day price increase uh, following the date of the station, which is today. So we're talking about between now and Friday of this week, uh, we see an average gain of about four and a third percent in the price of Bitcoin. So this uh, kind of overlays uh, what we're looking at uh, with that Mars Kronos dynamic. Uh, and so we're getting this as an added level of astrological confirmation for a price move in Bitcoin, which means that we could be up uh, by about 450 points or so from where we are today by the end of the week if this uh, particular model holds true. Hey, this is great information. Stay with us, Tim. We've got one other question for you. Surely. Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, folks. We'll be right back. Gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the fund 
funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, we have a question, and I think you can answer this without any trouble. It's the same question again, double double answers. Okay. Uh, how, much do you, how much do you charge to do a astrological chart for someone like, uh, you know, doing an, an, uh, you know, what you usually do where you where you uh, tell them, you know, what are interesting times and stuff like Well, you know what it is. What, what right. do you charge? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the basic uh, natal session, Larry, uh, lasts about an hour and a half. And we do a complete analysis of all of the factors that make up uh, the individual strengths and weaknesses and also do a projection uh, time wise to identify uh, upcoming trends for them the charge for that is fifteen hundred dollars okay that sounds fair enough don't let me catch my breath and go on to the next question and that is in your uh, work on bitcoin uh you're looking for another move of around 400 points is that pretty much correct as as uh i heard it Oh, right. Yeah, that should, that should be short uh, term there. Uh, okay. uh, as, as we're looking at this uh, uh, all the way through the next two week period, we're uh, considering uh, the, the potential for an ongoing uptrend uh, here uh, as well. And our price target uh, approximately two weeks from debt today uh, is uh, 11,925, uh, which would be another 800 point move from where we are right now. So we're very, very oh, bullish with Bitcoin at this point. Okay, you want to continue, please. Well, uh, that's our uh, overall picture with the Bitcoin dynamic. It's interesting here because we're also seeing, of course, uh, the uh, the downturn in the dollar and a big uh, record highs for, for gold trading. Uh, this looks like a flight to safety. But the interesting uh, factor here is that, that uh, Bitcoin is becoming part of that uh, uh, traditional flight to safety. <laughs> and so uh, that's what we're finding very uh, intriguing here. Uh, we've been observing this from a lot of perspectives, of course, from the trade and speculative perspective. Uh, we covered a lot of this in our, our book that's available on Amazon. Uh, it is called Bitcoin Astrology. Uh, so if you're interested in looking into the astrological dynamics that we're concerned with uh, as we study Bitcoin, that's a good source book uh, for you. Um, Actually, it's an anthology. Our friend Bill Meridian uh, authored one of the chapters in it, uh, as well uh, as a number of other noted uh, financial astrologers. So it's a good compilation of astrological views on Bitcoin. It's called Bitcoin Astrology, and that's available through uh, Amazon. You can search for it there. Uh, and so what we're seeing, though, is, as well, is the uh, increase in the uh, fluidity and transactional value of, of Bitcoin. In other words, it's being uh, more and more uh, uh, dominantly used uh, for uh, financial transactions rather than just as a speculative medium. And for me, that's a, a very encouraging sign. I, I, my personal belief is that we're building a very, very solid uh, base here for the cryptocurrency, and it's going to be around a long time. And so the, the, the speculative energy we're seeing right now, I think, is, is well-founded in terms of the run-up in price. Well, that's really interesting. Now, you've got a, a webinar coming up with a special price. 
Which, yeah, uh, our special right. price is free. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> now, we're doing this webinar in a couple of days. Uh, you can go to this link we have on the screen there, uh, bit.ly slash trade tweak. Uh, that's all lowercase. That'll take you directly to the registration page uh, for the webinar. Uh, we also are in the midst right now of a, a free uh, mini course uh, that we're offering online. Uh, it's our Astro Trading uh, Power Moves uh, mini course talking about trading uh, techniques. Uh, and uh, if, when you go to the webinar link and sign up for the webinar, we will redirect you to sign up uh, for that uh, free course as well. So we're adding that as a bonus. Uh, and uh, that's uh, six lessons, each one about 15, 20 minutes long. It's a, a very quick uh, a quick study there. <laughs> so we want to be able to share that information to introduce people uh, to the Astro Trading Advantage because obviously it's something that we use all the time and apply to different markets. It's very, very exciting uh, to see people get involved with this and understand the, the real uh, uh, edge that it gives you in applying it, especially when you use it along with uh, traditional fundamental analysis and good technical work. And uh, you're the, the master chart reader, Larry. So uh, <laughs> People combine well, what we're doing with what you're doing is, is, is get good results that way, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a master in my own mind. You know, one of the things I've got just a few things to check off on my bucket list, and one of them is that I hope to see someday on CNBC or Bloomberg they have a three to five minute segment on financial astrology with someone like you talking about what's happening in the market. And uh, I think it'll have to come from a place like MIT or Cambridge or uh, Indiana State, someplace like that, you know, where they have, uh, you know, really good astrophysicists and stuff like that. So uh, that's my that's my dream that I, I hope to see that someday, because I really right. believe that the real answer is in those stars. I've never been able to pick the star out of the right sky, but uh, I get, I, I get <laughs> well, by maybe, with that. Maybe I, I can I, make up some academic degrees. I don't know. Yeah, I have them, but maybe I don't know. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get. Yeah. Credential one of these days. Yeah, I, I, got, I got a PhD in the School of Hard Knocks, but uh, anyway, go. I think. Both, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's, hey, thanks for joining us today, Tim. And always nice to see that you're on the list for Financial Cycles Weekly as, a, as a, an astute market technician and a great timer. So we really appreciate you being here. And well, hey, do you have anything out in the future that you'd like to come on? Maybe a big date that's coming in a few. Hey, you know, don't have to answer that now. Just drop me an email. I if will you'd like drop to. you a line and we'll get together in a couple weeks. Weeks here because we got yes, lots yes. of interesting stuff coming up, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll oh, keep in touch. Great. Yeah, let, thank let's you, Larry. Do that. Appreciate the time you together bet. today. You bet. Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly out of Palmetto, uh, Florida. All right, let's move on here. Uh, we just had a little bit of a break in the gold market. We broke down from uh, 19. Hold, where is that price there? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's take a look at this one right here. Uh, we broke down from uh, 1957. We dropped 15 bucks down to 1942. All these rec retracements, folks, have been around $15 in gold, with the exception of that 60. Uh, eight sixty-nine dollar move that we had yesterday, uh, where it broke. But they're usually running fifteen to seventeen dollars. So watch that very closely. The other one that I, you know, this is either this is for kicks and giggles. Let's get this up here to take a look at it. This is one of the things that I that I thought was going to be very important today, and that is if you'll look at this uh, one three five pattern that we've been uh, talking about just a little while ago. That high at point five, uh, we got bit as high as I believe thirty two. 27.75. That completes that pattern perfectly. As long as we don't get above 332.28, we should be uh, in a down move. But, you know, again, that's just a probability. It's nothing more than that. Nothing, you know, if you think it's anything more than that, you're being, you know, silly to yourself. Basically, that's uh, pretty much it. We're having some good swings in the gold. The open interest in the gold and so over the last two days was very disappointing from the bullish side. You know, we had that tremendous move uh, at 1975. We were up about $35. Uh, we're trading about uh, 30 bucks under that right now. No big deal. But just you have to you have to respect that six dollar move in silver yesterday, folks. When we went from uh, we, we, it was a twenty thousand dollar move in about an hour, and when you see that kind, of, that's not for the little people. I mean, so you've got to be really careful in there. With you have to be careful all the time. What am I talking about? Of course you do. Anyway, we're going to have um, uh, two more guests this week. Uh, we're going to have, I believe, we're going to have Shane on Friday, and I hope we have. Uh, 
Tim, um, Stan Harley on tomorrow. Always good, uh, good to talk to him, and he has a little bearish view of the market. And you know, it, you know, we've not made anywhere near new highs in the Nasdaq. Or in, <laughs> shut up, Larry, in the S and P. Or the uh, mainly the Russell and the Dow Jones are the weaker. So if you're going to sell anything, sell the Dow Jones or the Russell because they're the weaker. The Nasdaq is still very strong, even though those those Fang stocks are looking relatively weak uh, on technical picture. Let's take a little break here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we've got a caller from Kansas. Hold on with me, Robert. Are you there? I am. Stay with me one second. I had to post something here to Dan. It comes from one of our friends from way over the other side of the Pacific, over in the area of Singapore. Folks, this is a chart that they're looking at, uh, possible, and believe me, I'm saying possible here. These folks run multi, multi millions of dollars in gold trading, and there's also, it could be a, a top in the gold market. That's what that happens to be. So what you need to do is it needs to close somewhere around 19 30 and then gap down if it does that then we have it robert what is your question my friend crude oil seems to kind of be stuck just kind of trading sideways i know yes. I think a couple of weeks ago you said you thought that it was probably at a pretty uh major top is that still your perspective or has it changed yep, or can you just kind of share it, your thoughts on that 
I just posted a chart, and we just completed a nice ABCD pattern uh, up there right near that 42 level in the uh, August crude. Now, most people are trading September and um, December crude, so either one of those is fine. But it is a really nice ABCD pattern over the last few days, so we shouldn't get any higher than where we are right now. And, uh, you know, that's uh, basically, you know, ABCs don't work all the time, but they work some of the time, and that's the whole key. At this level, you don't have to risk more than 40 pips to see if you're right, because if you see it uh, trade better than, you know, say 42, uh, 42.20, something like that, it's most probably wrong. But, uh, you know, that's what we're looking at. We have oil numbers today, so you have to always respect that. That comes out at 1030, so make sure that... Uh, you know, you wait to see how that happens before you, unless you want to gamble into it, which is okay if you use a stop. But uh, I like to wait till those reports are out of the way. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. How's everything in Kansas? Is your uh, uh, COVID-19 in under control? Um, we have a statewide mask order. And, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. the... Uh, we have a lot of new cases. I think we're one of the 38 states that uh -huh. are classified as red. And they've pushed, we okay. have kids in elementary school, and they've wow. pushed back the start date a month. Okay. Listen, thanks for calling in, my friend, and be safe, okay? Thank you. We'll see you all tomorrow, folks. May God bless.